Okay, here we go. Remember the classics. I'm going comedy specials today. I'm going January 1st, 1989. The Dice Man Cometh. Andrew Dice Clay, the Dice Man Cometh. Game changer. Game. This dude was a rock star. He was a bona fide rock star. Like, I seen him on other stuff. Like, he was on different strokes before. I looked on the IMDb. He was on MASH. I'm like, that was him on MASH. I seen him on Rodney Dangerfield. It's probably one of the best 10 minutes that I can recall of a comic doing and people talking about it the next day. And the thing about Andrew Dice Clay, he, he didn't cut no corners. He was straight laced. He had he wanted to sit misogynist. Huh? He was like, yo, fuck that. You a fuck ass. You a bitch. He didn't care. He did not care. He just said whatever the hell was on his mind. And people loved it. Because people were tired of the straight laced comedy. George Carlin was crazy smart. Ryan Williams was wacky. Don Rickles had his thing. But but for him to come in, it's like, yo, him and Kennison was out at the same time. Dice is just a little cooler than Kennison, though. You know what I'm saying? We love rest in peace to Kennison, but Dice was cooler than Kennison. You know what I'm saying? He had the leather jacket, he had the sunglasses, he had the cigarette he put it over his head. It's like, oh, here we go. Then he had the nursery, the nursery rhymes. Come on. So this show comes on, man. And my favorite, one of my favorite parts about the show is the beginning when he did doing like the film as him as a kid and you know, growing up before he went to Hollywood and it starts off, he's like, Yeah, cute comic, but he has an attitude. Always have. They show him at the table with a leather jacket on. <laughs> he like he like six years old. Tell us what happened to school today. Eric Blinken freed the slaves. And you know something? Joanne Carter don't wear no panties. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's that a, does it? Does it wear panties? He's like, you know, is that too, Pop? Hey, you should have said something. <laughs> Hey, go through the thing with him as a kid, and he's working at the suit store, and he got the girl in the car, and all this shit. Then he comes out, and the rock music come on. He come out, and they like, yeah, they going off. They are going off because they seen him do 10 minutes on the Rodney Tangerfield thing. So they start doing the jokes with him. He's like, okay, you guys did your homework. He threw some more nursery rounds. <laughs> I'm like, yo, Dice is ready. So he started off talking about he had his tongue up some chick's ass, which was fucking incredible. And he talked about the condoms. With, and then he really got, I'm a comedian, so it doesn't bother me. But <laughs> I look at it now, I'm like, this dude would not make it. Like, he's still out doing comedy, but he ain't as hot as he was back then. Not saying Dice ain't funny, but back then he was superstar status. They were hanging on everything he did, and he didn't care. He talked about Gays like it wasn't. He was like gay people outside. So I'm like, we want our rights. We want our rights. Like yeah, ten percent off of Vaseline. Now get the fuck. I'm like yo, what the fuck is it? I watched it today. I'm like damn, you can't say that. But he did. Now I laughed because I know it's a joke. But shit, he, he talked about black people too. But he kind of gave us props. His impression of a black person was straight from the 50s. <laughs> it was like, uh, how you guys walk around with those big old things all day? You walk around like, yeah. You know, a lot of people says to me, Moby, why'd you always holding your dick? <laughs> it wouldn't be all gentlemen like to have it dragging on the ground and shit. Chills get hurt with this motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. If it's funny, I don't care. That was funny. He talking shit out of Chinese. Chinese, what do you guys use for a condom, huh? <laughs> Put a piece of gum on it. Like, God damn, Dice. Dice had no shame, dog. That was something I've never seen before, and I thought it was some of the greatest. And then he surprised me at the end of the special. He did impressions. I didn't know he did impressions. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Sylvester Stallone, Eric Roberts, and John Travolta, like they had all kids on a camping trip, and he was doing that. I'm like, yo, he got that shit down. The special was dope. I gotta give props to it. Nobody talks about Dice. I mean, he did Four Fell I think Four Fell was underrated, man. I think it's a funny movie. And I met his son. I met I seen Dice a couple of times with the comedy store when I lived out there. He always like, well, about how you doing? All right, all right. He's always cool. Yeah, I knew his son Max from the open mic days. Max was a cool cat, played the drum all the time, man. So Dice, man. You can't get not I can't even say half the stuff I want to say because they're counting money. I don't even got that many subscribers. But damn, <laughs> Dice, man. Dice, man, come. If you ain't seen it, man, you a comic, you ain't watched that, man. You look and see that, like, what Chappelle talking about ain't got nothing on that shit as far as, like, just being, like, like cruel. Like, they'd be on him. He would not make it. They will come for him. It, it'll be real bad. So Dice is just middle of the road. Now he old the cat you see in the movies. Just doing his thing, man. I'm a big fan, yo. So, yo, Andrew Dice Clay, Dice, man, coming, man. One of my favorite comedy specials, man.
next bit, next segment.